Fine-tuning a meter for a perfect fit is often a trial and error process. Practice on smaller test pieces until you get your meter saw set to exactly the right angle, then cut the actual parts. Use it in print and on TV everywhere. Some stake and board contra Some stake and board contraptions set up to hold strings to help position post holes or lay out footings or building footprints, but most of the time there is a much better way. Tack together the construction lumber to outline the structure, square it up and use it as a giant template to do all your marking. Set it aside to do your digging and replace it to set the posts. Whether you are working on your garage, out in the backyard building a shed or up at the inlays cabin building a deck, take a few minutes and cobble together a meter saw bench. With a little creativity, you can use just about any materials you have on your hand. The only custom work you will need to do is to rip some spacer boards to make the outfit support the same height as the saw blade. It sure beats kneeling on the grass or perching the meter saw on horses. And the bench does double duty as a super convenient work surface too. I haven't had nailed a piece of interior trim in 25 years. Why? Because air power trim guns make the results so much faster, better and neater. No splints, no preddling, no knocking the piece out of place as you hammer, and only itty bitty holes to fill. If you are going to buy just one size, the most versatile choice is one that shoots 5 8 to 2 inches 18 gouge brands. Stick masking tape to your tape measure for jointing down shapes and numbers. That way you won't forget the length on the way to the saw. On my first job as a farming carpenter, I was beating on a stud to try to coax it into position. The stud just bounced back. A veteran framing carpenter walked over and drove a big nail at an angle through the edge of the stud. The last two hammer blows moved the stud into position where it stayed. Now I use the toenail trick whenever I need to adjust stubborn lumber. Whether you are doing rough construction or fine finish work, the best all-round hammer is a smooth-faced 20 ounce with a straight claw. I use the claw to drive it under walls for lifting, to embed it in framing and even to do extremely crude chiseling, but best of all, it's a better shape for pulling nails than the curved clay style. Fine-tuning a meter for a perfect fit is often a trial and error process. Practice on smaller test pieces and work on eliminating imperfections until you get your meter saw set to exactly the right angle, then cut the actual parts. It will look like too much lumber when it arrives, but you will need the extra stuff for corners, blocking, braces and frames for windows and doors. Set aside any crocked material for short pieces. Thanks for watching, until next time!